I'd like to welcome uh, today Mr. Rupesh Kumar, uh, who is the founder of Milave. Uh, it is a homely food delivery startup, and it is Pune based. They are making good revenues, and now they are seeking funds to uh, expand in Pune and uh, to have a better technology. I believe. Uh, I'd like to welcome the investors for this call as well. Entai is a business dating platform where we are connecting startups, investors, and co-founder with each other. By now, we are 750 plus startups, 150 plus angel investors, and there are 100, 150 co-founders. This is the fourth pitch day uh, for the uh, Entai. I'd like to welcome Rupesh Kumar. Over to you, Rupesh. You can you can start. Dear yeah, investors, if you have got any questions, uh, we will be having the opportunity to ask the question at the end of the sessions. Okay. Thank you. Rukesh. First of all, a uh, very good afternoon to everybody and uh, a big thank you to Yogesh, you know, so uh, we we got a chance to connect, uh, uh, I think almost a week ago and then in a very short span of time, Yogesh has given us the opportunity to, you know, pitch in front of you guys. And also a big thank you to everybody who is on this call for making to uh, a Sunday, you know, afternoon. It's a lazy afternoon. People must have, uh, you know, had, uh, you know, good lunch. So I'll try my best to, you know, make this thing interesting. Okay. So I would like to introduce myself. So my name is Rupesh Kumar. I'm the founder and CEO of uh, Milavi. And uh, I have around 18, 17 to 18 years of corporate experience. I have worked across Fortune 500 companies in India and abroad. And along with me, we have Pratap Haldar. Pratap, you could be able to yeah. So Pratap hails Hi. from uh, IT industry background. So he has been into mobility development and different kind of technologies across all good companies like TCS, Infosys uh, from past 14, 15 years. Then we have Nikhil Jain. Unfortunately, Nikhil uh, a camera is not working, so he's facing some technical difficulty sitting at home. So Nikhil is uh, so basically he he qualified IIT and he chose uh, to do the engineering from Pune itself. And uh, he is the youngest of us, and he is also the co-founder and CMO of Milavi. He is currently handling the marketing part. Okay, so before I start the pitching session, so I'll take this thing a, a little bit unconventionally. I'll not take much of your time. So for the interest of time and everything, I'll, I'd like to share a small video uh, which we shot recently. It's a commercial shot. So it, it is a 90 second uh, video and thereafter I'll go take you all through the pitching uh, deck. I hope this is fine with everybody. Yes, you can, you can present. पुणे के शहर में सुबह सुबह सात बजे ये सिटी एक आम बात है भाई कावेरी अम्मा के खाने के सभी दीवाने हैं आज फिर से कावेरी अम्मा लगी हुई है खाना तैयार करने में मिलावी से ना जाने कितनी ही ग्रहणिया घर का खाना डिलीवर कर रही हैं राहुल भी उन्ही लोगों में से एक है घर के खाने का दीवाना और हो भी क्यों ना घर का खाना ही संपूर्णता का एहसास दिलाता है और पहले ही निवाले में राहुल को मां की ताल याद आ जाती है मीलावे पे कावेरी अम्मा जैसी हजारों माए आपके लिए घर का खाना बना रही हैं मीलावे से ऑर्डर करना बिल्कुल आसान है मिलावी का ऐप डाउनलोड करें और घर बैठे मन पसंद घर के खाने का आनंद लें। ट्रायल मील सिर्फ 120 रुपए में अनलिमिटेड रीस्केजुलिंग, वीकली, बाय वीकली और मंथली प्लान, प्योर वेज, जैन और ना जाने कितने सारे विकल्प। मिलावी एक जाना पहचाना सा स्वाद। इसमें है माँ का प्यार। तो थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो। and now I will take you through the hour, pitch deck. I hope people can see uh, my pitch. Yes. Yes, yes sir. Okay, thank you. So, uh, so we are founder of Milavi. Milavi is a, a, a food tech company. It's a marketplace. So we are a, we are building a platform on an aggregator model. 
we are we, we are aggregating you know all the home chefs home kitchens currently we are member of startup india and also recently we got uh, enrolled into nvd inception program which is a kind of a very premium uh, inception program uh, through which we got 1 lakh dollar uh, credit for the cloud platform amazon uh, web services we uh, as i told you we are a marketplace so we started uh, our journey in the year Uh, 2022 October 16 where we launched our uh, mobile application which is available on iOS and uh, for uh, Android phones and uh, thereafter we did uh, you know last year we started our real operations uh, when when i say real operations we started making revenue from the ma- month of uh, feb and uh, till now till date we have delivered more than 1 lakh 30000 meals we have around more than 400 kitchens alone in pune uh, two months ago we launched in bangalore as well where we have more than 65 to 70 kitchens so we have all together 220 plus uh, pin codes delivery and on a daily basis we are uh, serving around 600 to 700 meals per day we intend to launch in uh, another five cities uh, apart from pune and bangalore in the year 2024 the problem statement that we are working on the users who are looking for daily uh, daily food requirement because there are unhealthy outside food i mean if you uh, see the mess services and all uh, which cater to daily food services harmful packaging so we are replacing it with the eco friendly packaging where we are cutting down 98% plastic and definitely we are playing on the homemade food category where we are getting source the this food from a actual home all these home chefs who are coming to our platform they are somebody who are uh, you know doing this business from a decade or so so they uh, they have been doing this on a very smaller scale where they faced a delivery issue less user attention and limited visibility which we are solving this with the help of a, a mobile application and tech that we are going to supply we are supplying them and it, there are couple of facts you know so uh, more than 20 crore indians stay away from home okay and as indian you know our palate is uh, made for you know uh, indian food when it comes to daily food requirement people love to eat biryanis and pizzas and burgers you know once in a while in a week or so but then when it comes to daily food i mean they crave for homemade food and healthy food i mean homemade food is basically considered as healthy so solution is homemade food which we we are uh, currently you know building our expertise so we are supplying home healthy homemade food regional homemade cuisine so we have divided the cuisines into nine category like bengali bihari maharashtrian south indian and we are tagging all these homes uh, based on their uh, you know belonging we are we we have our own packaging solution eco friendly packaging and we have delivery management system we have collaborated collaborated with different uh, delivery partners like you know all the leading ones like sadofax danzo porter rapido and we uh, definitely we have a food marketplace so this is the traction if you see our journey so we started a kitchen onboarding in the month of july 2022 october we launched and uh, we uh, when we launched we launched with 180 plus home kitchens alone in pune and then uh, since december till date we have only grown organically so we have not spent a dime on marketing when it comes to user acquisition the revenue traction that currently is as i told you uh, so la- uh, december till in this in the last three quarters we have grown like you know uh, more than th- 25 to 30 percent and cur- la- december we clocked in around 11.75 lakhs and uh, the contribution margin is quite healthy it is around 40 percent if you see the indian market size the tam you know the, the total addressable market in the uh, food delivery sector is around 8 billion dollar which comes to around 66000 inr crore inr and uh, if, if i see the supply side the bottom data that you see so even if i see the urban india you know the big cities and all so there are a uh, lot of household you know around 1.5 uh, 1.4 crore household who's Uh, annual income is uh, you know between 4 to 8 lakhs so they they are the uh, kind of potential you know home chefs who will onboard us so the estimated if we take a rough uh, estimation you know estimated available able and willing to join us that could be anywhere uh, between 40 to 43 lakhs you know alone from the uh, supply side <clears throat> 
this is the milavi product line so we have we are a food tech company we are a tech company and everything is done in house and we have a in house tech team who has developed all this uh, platform uh, from scratch on the left you see a milavi user application then this is a kitchen partner application which we call it as a milavi chef from where they can control their inventory they get the order and all those uh, you know things so they can do it from their application itself then we are launching in the next week we are also launching a dex time so this is a virtual uh, uh, you know milavi cafeteria uh, solution for companies who cannot afford a big cafeteria in their premises so we will be giving this application to almost 3000 companies alone in pune and uh, this will be a kind of you know discounted rate and we will be uh, in, uh, enabling the deliveries at the company location itself so this will help them their admin hr and their employees to have a single stop solution when it comes to healthy homemade food on a daily basis then we have our web application uh, um, uh, which we launched uh, about 2 to 3 weeks which is uh, in very sync with uh, the uh, milavi user uh, application so these are the digital assets that currently we own so this is the tech uh, stack that we have currently built on okay so uh, probably uh, if you can see i mean for the tech guys you know this could be interesting so we as i told you that we have uh, done everything from scratch so our um, web application or uh, 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 mobile application is basically a hybrid application which is built on angular and then we have already uh, done the aws uh, configuration where we are using in you know, auto scaling and all kind of configuration which make us ready for you know expansion so even if today if 10 lakh users comes in a day or in a minute i mean we have everything set up to handle that at the analytics point of view also we have set uh, everything uh, ma made everything ready so that once we go into performance marketing or any kind of mo uh, marketing who are ready to track everything you know uh, from that point of view our database sits on mongodb redis and repository is on uh, github the business model so our business model is based on the commission uh, model so so that is the uh, 20% is the minimum take rate that we take on uh, daily uh, uh, total food order value so we have on de on demand delivery like you see on swiggy and zomato and then we have advance order option as well which is not present on uh, swiggy and zomato so people can plan for tomorrow or day after for a group or for an individual as well and then 3 months ago we launched our subscription model which uh, where we are focusing heavily where we are giving a weekly bi weekly and monthly plan so people can pay once uh, and then they can get the item delivered in a, a predefined time like for lunch 12 to 2 between 12 to 2 and for dinner uh, seven to nine i mean this will also help us you know to uh, standardize and uh, lower down the delivery charges uh, below uh, 20 rupees per delivery the packaging material is supplied by us so we are tied up with uh, different factories who are giving us the packaging material and we are supplying to all these uh, uh, you know homes ad revenue we have not yet started so once uh, we grow then this will also kick in where uh, we will uh, increase it will show the kitchen in, in, in you know uh, push the home kitchen positions on top uh, based on the kind of uh, you know uh, ad charges that they are willing to pay us the competitors and, uh, and the landscape so on the left side on the y axis you on the tops you have on demand deliveries on the bottom you have subscription model on the x axis on the left side you have outside food and on the uh, right side you have homemade food so milavi sits very close to uh, the uh, you know uh, x axis on the right most side so very close to the homemade food there are other notable players uh, which are coming up is cooker cooker is a almost one and a half year old company than uh, milavi and they are predominantly doing uh, business into eight cities in tamil nadu now currently they are also expanding in other cities in south india like mysore bangalore and other stuff so they are also working on the similar model Although the product and uh, placement is quite different than us, but they are the notable competitor. And then there are some companies, Masala Box, Uta Box. They, Ma Masala Box got acquired by Eat Fit, and Uta Box is some uh, is a one platform, but they do not have mobile application, and they are mostly working on the subscription model. And then you have other uh, uh, players, you know, who are into uh, you know cloud kitchen and the restaurant business outside food. 
So if I alone compare the features, you know, so these are the features where these are very, uh, you know, uh, uh, kind of required when you talk about daily food. So people look for regional cuisines, healthy food, advanced ordering, subscription, bulk order, happy hour discount, home kitchen, sustainable packaging. And we are kind of, you know, doing check on all the categories when it comes to these many features. So cooker is very, yes, uh, you know, close to what we are doing, but they are even, they do not have a subscription order, a bulk order facility, which we are currently doing. Meet our team. This is a small and hand-picked team that we have currently built. On the top, you see, uh, so we have Shantanu Jain, who is our advisor. So, so Shantanu hails a seven plus experience. He is basically CA by profession, but he started his uh, journey with uh, Grant Thornton and Swiggy. Swiggy, he was, uh, uh, you know, working for uh, as an advisory for two years. He helped Swiggy to scale into 450 plus cities. Currently, he is uh, advising us, and he's also our virtual CEO. For he has completed almost a one year with us. And uh, on the top, you see me, Pratap, and uh, Nikhil. And uh, this is the team that we have. So currently, we have you know, hand-picked team from different uh, startups in the similar uh, categories. Like, you know, we have the operation manager who helps from X Rapido, X Taskmo, Multifit. So he's our operational manager. Then we have uh, Sreyas, he's X TCS. So he's a very key member in the tech domain. And uh, Pratap is definitely leading that category. And then we have people from, you know, um, one card as a, a CX support. So the, these girls, you know, they are cross-selling up, selling to customer. So this is the team and uh, currently they are uh, helping us to grow. What we are looking for, we are looking to raise 1.5 CR round in this uh, current round. Last year we raised, uh, raised when we were doing 90,000 rupees on a monthly basis, we raised around 48 lakhs. And uh, we have grown almost like 12 fold from here. We want to grow another 10 X or uh, 20 X from now onward. This money we will be using it for branding and marketing, city expansion and profitability. From the tech point of view, we are in a very good shape. And the kind of application, I mean, uh, soon after this call, you guys can uh, download the Milavi application and see the you know UI and the experience and everything. And uh, so the future milestones, if you see, uh, so we we are uh, we want to you know uh, like reach thousand plus orders by the end of April, and then we want to. Uh, kick in our Bangalore uh, growth story where we want to achieve 500 plus orders on a daily basis. And then we July, we will uh, focus more on, you know, city launch, a different city launch uh, across uh, India. So Gurugaon would be one thing we are targeting. If not, uh, that is a satellite city. And then if you talk about East, we will look at uh, Kolkata. And similarly, we have, you know, shortlisted around 14 to 15 cities based on some criteria that we have built on over a period of time. And by the end of December, we wish to clock, uh, you know, on a daily basis, uh, more than 5,000 orders on a daily basis. So that amounts to around uh, 100, uh, you know, 50,000, which is 1.5 lakhs order on a monthly basis. So in this 1.5 CR, we have already logged in uh, more than 70 lakhs rupees. The money has come to our bank account and the rest of the money is the money that is what we are looking for. Thank you very much for patiently listening. I'm open for any questions that you may have. That's really great, Rupesh. Thank you so much for helping us understand the journey of Milavi. Uh, so if I could recall our discussion, the commitment received was 1 crore. Uh, so now it is 70 crore. This is an 70, update. Yeah, 70 is already in the bank and uh, 30 around 35 lakhs is about to come. Okay, so you're you're looking for another 50 lakh, right? Yes. Okay, uh, I have got a couple of questions before I open up the uh, this particular thing for all the investors. Uh, what is the valuation you're looking for? On what basis you will be taking this investment? Okay, so, uh, so currently we are not doing any valuation. So last time we did a CCD round, okay? And uh, we are doing a bridge round. So again, it is based on the CCD. So last time uh, we, uh, so CT CCD was built on floor and cap. So last time the floor was 5 CR and the cap was uh, 15 CR. So this time uh, we have not increased a much. So uh, the floor uh, stands at 8 CR and the cap is uh, 18 CR. So we, we are not doing the valuation currently. Okay, so we will be publishing this video. So for those who don't know CCD, these are compulsory convertible dates, right? 
uh, that leads to my next question. What, what is your vision with Milave? I could see there are a lot of people are uh, in our, on an unorganized market and organized market. There are a lot of people who are into food take and food delivery. So what, what stands, uh, let's say, what makes you guys different than the other, other people? What's your vision? Okay. So first of all, I mean, yes, as you rightly said, this is not a unique business. Uh, people have tried this business. Some of the companies got acquired, like, you know, there was a company called Tinmin. It was a Hyderabad based company. They reached up to 30,000 order before they got acquired by Zomato. And uh, so, so that was the story of one company and then different companies are also trying and we are also doing this. So, I mean, if you see the basic difference between us and what they have been doing, so we have been uh, working on the supply side rather than on the demand side so that is how our journey started okay so when i say that we onboard this kitchen so this is not not just any onboarding process that we de- uh, do so we is now we are specialized when it comes to onboarding and training and making enabling these people you know to do a good business with us people always mistake you know home chefs that they cannot do big orders they cannot uh, uh, do uh, uh, you know consistency and all so we have built a process a robust process where we are following 11 step process before we onboard any kitchen it takes around 15 to 20 days before we onboard kitchen we help them to get facade certification all the legal legalities that we do we test we check and every month we are conducting a training session for this home chef so we have freelancer chefs from marriott hayat and all they definitely don't they don't teach them that how to cook food but then they uh, give them tips and tricks of you know managing uh, good order uh, what kind of product that they uh, can use so we have uh, set up the standard so supply side we have uh, you know secured in a very bigger way so that they are doing business uh, uh, so i mean that was one of the challenge you know what other companies faced on a longer run so we did not scale in a way that we started you know just selling and selling and then we grew like that so we started with a very tougher market i, I would say b2c is a, in fact not very tough you know compared to cracking a b2b business so we started with corporates itself you know so currently we are very proud to say that we have 47 b2b clients including all the bigger companies like jadas associates gotrej kolte patel many software companies, many startups, you know, so where we are supplying food for uh, their employees, uh, daily food order, event order, even based order and all. So we, we, we have grown like that. And till date, till date, we have not seen a single, uh, you know, failure or single backout from these B2B clients. So that makes us unique uh, by how we are positioning. Now coming to the vision, we want to make Milavi as the biggest homemade food brand in India, you know, so we, we want to uh, serve food. We want to make this daily food affordable and uh, e- accessible to anybody in uh, uh, e- in a city who is looking for uh, uh, you know a good good daily uh, food alternative. You know, if somebody is not cooking and somebody is looking for a daily food requirement. Got it. Got it, Rupesh. Uh, my last question uh, that you said you are focusing on the supply side and less on the demand side. So you must be having some success stories of the home shapes. Yes. Uh, ultimately, they are looking to, to get some money. They are doing this work. So right. you might have some stories to share with us. Would like to understand a couple of stories. Okay. So, uh, so see, I mean, definitely, you know, people understand when they are understand our business. So you can um, definitely uh, understand that uh, 100% of these home shapes are in the range of 45 years to 55 years. They are women. Okay, so we you can definitely bring in a women empowerment angle to it. Okay, so we we are definitely empowering these uh, housewives. Okay, just to quote a few uh, kitchen stories like you know, so uh, all these uh, meal plates which is going uh, on a subscription basis to these people, they have a sleeve and on the back side of the uh, sleeve you have you know individual stories of these kitchens you know which we have published with their uh, permission with their uh, photo and uh, with their journey. Okay, so like there is a Karuna kitchen, you know, see uh, this kitchen is based out of uh, uh, Hinjewadi and uh, Baner, you know, they are located somewhere there. 
so uh, currently uh, so they have been you know struggling uh, uh, with the kind of you know um, uh, finances that they were having you know because he, her husband was also working as a cab driver and uh, she was uh, teaching somewhere in that school although she had a kid you know who is suffering from some ailment where you know every month 18000 to 20000 rupees she has to you know spend and she was looking for something you know which can support their family so i am very proud to say that from last 8 months she has uh, joined uh, initially she was getting like one order in a week then she started getting one order daily and now she is doing bulk order with us and she is making you know she is i mean our billing is around 1.4 lakhs 1.3 lakhs you know from where they are making around 60 to 70 thousand rupees where now his uh, her husband is also supporting her you know full time uh, on uh, her journey you know so this is one story and similar stories are there like there is another uh, kitchen you know uh, so uh, swami samarth kitchen and all these kitchens you can see on milavi you know and uh, so even she is uh, uh, living alone with uh, uh, you know her partner she is 55 and she was looking for something which she can do uh, from uh, you know home and which can support uh, both of these people this uh, because he, her husband is a senior citizen and you know he cannot work anymore okay so that and means can i can i conclude it like uh, the home sorry <coughs> the home ships can make around 40 to 60% easily easily 40 to 50000 easily on a monthly basis no no i am i am talking percentage let's say if i got the bill of 1 lakh rupees so i could make a 40 to 60% easily that that's that's great rupesh i am happy and amazed to understand the stories of home shapes as well i am more key uh, i i am more interested in understanding more stories now i'll open up the forum to, uh, for the investors to ask the questions mm. hi rupesh can you take yes, the first question yeah hey rupesh uh, thanks a lot for describing all those things and looks to be pretty good uh, business model one aspect i want to understand is the legal aspect of that right so most of the restaurants are having some kind of certification from government right and they they can serve based on that model while the home sir will not be having any kind of certification so any kind of health issue come up after consuming their food or any other issues come up how are you planning to handle those kind of situations great question pius uh, i would definitely like to answer that uh, so uh, so when it comes to legality and the compliance okay so when it comes to uh, any restaurant from a food ta- food uh, business perspective so that is one, one of the foremost thing which is required is sorry uh, fasai certification which is the food license okay so that is the only thing which is required uh, from a food uh, perspective and then there are other things like shop act uh, and uh, gst and there are so many other business related things you know so in our case so we are complying with uh, uh, you know uh, fasai license so all our kitchens are having fasai they are fasai license so the government has given us a, a, a separate model where a person can start their kitchen from their home and if the food is getting served to the outside world so that fasai is meant for a home kitchen so we are complying with that all the home kitchens are uh, having that thing now coming to the legality thing when if something happens to the user so we are a aggregator model and if if you know zomato and swiggy i mean they also work on the same model so we are somebody who is uh, helping uh, helping them to get the food delivered so basically we are a, uh, also in a collaborating platform we are connecting a user to chef the chef is alone responsible for the quality and the uh, uh, you know uh, the healthiness of that food but then having said that we are not denying that we will not intervene and all definitely we are doing that we are you know taking every we have a customer support so definitely but from a legal perspective we are no way responsible as zomato and swiggy also they are not responsible for the restaurant food quality and other things okay so i mean if that uh, satisfies your question yeah so rupees so one no more follow up questions so you mean that like you have like 160 plus kitchens in pune right and 400 plus and 400 plus and 60 plus in bangalore all those kitchens are having separate license yes separate license so, so they separate. own they own the license uh, they mm-hmm. pay the, their license fees we just uh, you know help them so we when we onboard every kitchen we charge them 1000 rupees 
so 250 rupees we charge for the facade certification 750 rupees we charge for the uh, creating their profile uploading the menu doing all such stuff you know so 250 we are only charging 250 rupees uh, in that 100 rupees goes to the government and 150 rupees that we keep for the processing charges and other thing that we help them outside if they go for uh, uh, you know facade certification with any lawyer and all they have to pay 1500 rupees to 2000 rupees and we ne not necessarily we say that we you uh, I, I I'm uh, helping you so you only do business with us if they want to do uh, uh, you know this uh, uh, business with some other platform or uh, on individual basis I mean this SAI license will help them as well okay thanks Lucas. and what is the profit margins right now for you right what is it? yeah so our so uh, uh, since I told you that we have like three models uh, three uh, three types of order one is uh, on demand advance and then we have uh, subscription model subscription model we are uh, having a gross margin of 50 to 55 percent uh, on all days and uh, all day on demand and uh, advance order which goes from the application where we take only 20 percent as take rate and on on the b b2b b2b, uh, B2B uh, orders we make anywhere between 40 to 50 percent so that is after salary and everything have been detected, right? So no, no. So this is the gross EBITDA margin. Is what I was uh, EBITDA, currently the EBITDA is negative. Since uh, we were prof profitable like five months ago, but now since, uh, I mean, that time we had only two more, two to three employees, but currently we have like nine employees. And uh, so we have, we, so Pune, Pune being the base location. So, uh, so that is why that uh, uh, EBITDA is negative currently, but the contribution margin is very healthy. It is around 40 to 45%. Okay, thanks, Rupesh. I have a yes. question. Hi, uh, hi, Rupesh. Uh, Shubham hi, side. Yeah. So uh, I have a question with regards to that uh, subscription. Yeah. So uh, you mentioned about the subscription uh, which you are providing for your D2C customers. So uh, may I know who are these customers? Like what is the age okay. group of this? So, and what is the reputation of the right. subscription? So we, we started subscription almost two and a half months ago. Okay, to be very precise. And uh, uh, per subscription, we have three types of user persona. And the, uh, the foremost is uh, corporate goers, which uh, whose age ranges between uh, 26 to uh, around 45 or 50. Okay, then the second user persona that is there is senior citizens who are kind of, you know, uh, working alone their uh, kids are not there who cannot cook even if they have cooked they do cannot do grocery they have a healthy amount of money they are getting pension so the, this is another so you can you can imagine you know around 60 percent of the user persona is towards the corporate goers and around 20 percent is the student who are into a technical courses like in symbiosis or in engineering who are looking for uh, you know kind of a subscription plan may not be a daily plan but uh, every mess or every school or every sorry colleges uh, their mess closes uh, is closed on sunday or saturday and uh, so they don't do not have any other option other than to go to zomato swiggy or go to eat fit and there they easily spend around 280 rupees to 300 rupees and our plans are made in uh, such a unique way where we give subscription and then allow user to have unlimited uh, scheduling so uh, for instance if they, there is a 14 meal plan so they can have uh, consume 14 meals uh, in next three months also we don't mind so what is the price of the subscription you mentioned yeah, so like our uh, meal, weekly monthly whatever. yeah so our meal uh, meal cost start so monthly rate is different than the weekly rate weekly rate is bit, a bit on a higher side so if somebody goes on a monthly plan so the meal cost would be uh, 120 rupees i mean start with 125 rupees for the three chapati sabji and uh, raita kind of a thali which is a three compartment thali then the five compartment thali is 160 rupees where you get three chapati sabji roti dal chawal uh, you know salad and every friday we give uh, a homemade sweet and that is, that is for one time 120 160 yes 120 okay. 160 and then 220 220 is a special meal which goes into eight compartment where we add one sweet and one paneer sabji is compulsory and there you get raita and salad both so that okay. is a, a special meal plan so if I take 160, who will be the provider? Like uh, you have your own cloud kitchen, who will no, provide? Or 
we we do not make food we do not have cloud kitchen all these homes is so what we do is so um, you can imagine you know the, so 400 kitchens you know what could be the density so you know uh, that i understand but uh, do you say that in 160 rupees mm -hmm. your 400 uh, kitchens who are present can provide meal for 160 yeah i mean the rate is finalized so, so you they, have a standard uh, subscription yes. as well as meal uh, menu which every like aggregator is preparing and giving okay i got your point i got your point so i'll explain you you know so the the menu is they list on uh, their kitchen okay so if you see uh, any kitchen if you click the menu and the pricing that they uh, have so basically that is driven by them we do not mm. intervene we only we only suggest them because their uh, the take rate our take rate is fixed which is 20 percent so I don't mind if they keep, uh, you know, 200 rupees for a sabji, you know, if that is getting sold. Okay. But then we also all, always help them to, uh, you know, structure in a way that they, they get the maximum order and uh, percentage. When it comes to subscription, we fix the price. We have fixed the menu. We have fixed exactly uh, in seven days what menu will go from all the 400 kitchens, no matter what. Taste we are not controlling. We want to have that variety. So we are not asking them to change their taste. The quality, the like chawal, chawal has to be bada kolam or surti kolam. The dal has to be this. So uh, all these things we are, uh, you know, making the standards and all. Cost we have already fixed. So for instance, if they, they, they go for, so 160 breakup, I can tell you very easily. So we supply them packaging. So we only give food cost, 65, 60 to 65 rupees we give for the food cost. Why 60 and why 65? So if there is less than 20 orders in a month, uh, 40 orders in a month, then uh, it would be 65. Otherwise, it would be 60 rupees. And then uh, we give the packaging uh, uh, additionally. And for that, we do not charge. That is a cost on us. And then the, there is a delivery charge. So this is how the cost structure works. Okay. As an outsider, I would suggest it's a bit uh, confusing the like uh, overall like uh, the product cost which you mentioned okay but yeah fine so i mean if you can tell me please no, what part no, no wh why i said is because you first mentioned that you are uh, working as an aggregator uh, but uh, this seems that uh, you, for the subscription you are controlling the whole uh, meal thing which uh, like you know a bit uh it seems a bit unclear so that's why i asked i thought subscription means if somebody is taking from a regular kitchen if a person is liking the food then uh, that subscription is working as a uh, like you know bucket or a wallet amount which they can utilize for each meal uh, which they are ordering every day or weekly basis but uh, this thing is a bit different Okay, so so when I talk about subscription, subscription is not for the platform. So basically, this subscription that we are charging, it is for the meal. Okay, so we have defined this, you know, set of meal, three kinds of meal, which people can subscribe on a daily basis, looking at the market. So we did a fair amount of research, and we have seen how Eat Fit or, uh, you know, Food Darji and other similar platform, they are serving the subscription model. And based on that only, we have uh, made now we we have made this kitchen independent and we took the liberty of selecting the kitchen for the user why because uh, in the food pack space or even if you order on zomato and swiggy normally you do not want to taste, taste and try out all the 40 or 50 uh, you know restaurants around you so people get attached to a kitchen very easily and when, once they look they change the location then for us it will be a challenging stuff you know because we here we are not charging them delivery subscription is delivery free you know because every uh, the, all the costs are inbuilt so it will be a difficult to match the taste and then we give them free delivery if the person goes like you know 10 kilometer away from the kitchen so that is why we have came up with this plan which is where, where the user is not uh, selecting the kitchen just to tell you the numbers and all, so currently the numbers that we have, we have a more than 90% retention rate when it comes to the subscription. People are, 90% they are coming to our platform on, on a monthly basis and they are, you know, renewing the subscription on our platform. So they are loving the food. And as... Okay.
as we are moving forward we are also you know seeking their advice their feedback and we are in building uh, you know inculcating those changes and man like uh, just sorry to interrupt you on this so like uh, how is your delivery partner network like you have your own network or uh, you are yeah yeah so your... we so for the all day and uh, advance we take the delivery charges from users we just pass on the delivery uh, uh, as uh, uh, you see on swiggy and zomato so there uh, there is no challenge here uh, so initially when we started we started with the uh, dunzo and porter and uh, uh, shadow facts only where the delivery cost is coming anywhere between 45 rupees to 55 rupees so this mm. is what we are incurring but now having said that we do not want to continue on the same model on the subscription basis because uh, a, there is a, a defined delivery which happens between 12 to 2 and uh, 7 to 9 so we uh, we already implemented one model where we have our own delivery boy okay, okay. So delivers between 20 12 to 2 and 7 to 9 and we have uh, easily brought the cost down to 20 rupees and our intention is to even lower down it to 14 rupees or 13 rupees you know based the number of deliveries that can be done because there is a predefined deliveries that is uh, projected for a tomorrow or day after okay okay interesting thanks thanks for the answers rupesh thank you that great rupesh rupesh in continuation with the shubham no what i feel if the user is given a choice to select the uh, let's say home shape for my subscription yeah that's that what i was think, yeah, thinking because if you give them a certain menu then if i am a bachelor i am staying alone then i will be feeling bored because uh, it is similar thing if i am ordering outside or if i am staying at a pg then i have the same menu in the pg every day right so that's why i so, put that so concern just to reiterate on the fact we do not have same menu every vegetables is uh, i mean for a week the vegetables are not repeated menus are uh, revised on a uh, bi-weekly basis so we give variety we give them variety and a user is free to ask for a change if they do not like the uh, you know taste or they got bored with the food and the kind of numbers that i'm talking about 400 so if, if you talk about revel foods you talk about any they have only 50 kitchen more i mean not more than 50 cloud kitchen in a city we have 400 so for me, it, it doesn't take a dime to change a kitchen to a different kitchen just to give a better taste or a different kind of taste. Believe me, we are open for ideas. We have everything implemented and we are in a growth stage. So definitely I cannot put a finger to this that this is the only thing which will work. I, I, I'm sure that whatever you are telling this will work. So we will we will do that. So that's not a problem, you know. We have just started our journey and we want to scale from here to uh, so some place where we would be uh, having uh, those things as well. That's great. Okay, so does anybody have any questions? Investors, please. Uh, hi, Rupesh. Uh, great pitch. I have a question around menu. Uh, so is there any plan to extend the menus to, you know, uh, other than food items like uh no pickles powder or wow. any anything yeah this can... is a great question i mean you kind of you know nailed it because i i do not want to confuse people you know when when i do this pitching and all so uh, as you rightly said so 400 kitchens they uh, not everybody would be doing this uh, daily order and all so there are kitchens who have who are actually pickles experts who are carrying a legacy of 80 years in pickles I have around, you know, 45 kitchens alone for the pickles. So they already do that and they sell it in the farmer's market, you know, in the local community when there is a like a gathering on every Sunday. So they put a stall and they sell their pickles and they have great pickles. So we can move into those directions definitely. So we can have a marketplace uh, made uh, on the application itself in a later date. So where you can have authentic homemade pickle, papad, achar, uh, that, uh, you know, potato chips. So basically the idea is that a South Indian person, if he Pune, he doesn't Tamil Nadu. Ko miss na kare. Yeah. You don't know so many, it, uh, uh, you know, uh, jo, uh, what do you say that people leave their job you know because of uh, uh, because they fall homesick you know and food is one of the biggest uh, contributor so I will give them idli sambar in Tamil Nadu from Tamil Nadu from Tamil Nadu from Tamil Nadu from Pune based this is my aim just understand my aim is this 
बेंगलोर में मैं नॉर्थ इंडियन को पंजाबी छोले कुलचे खिला दूंगा ठीक है सो so, मेरा मेरा जो आइडिया यही है मैं वो वैरायटी लाना चाहता हूँ सो सो दैट की फूड कैन कैन बिकम ए बिगर यू नो रिटेनर फॉर एनी कंपनी तो ये सारी कंपनी मैं जो बोल रहा हूँ ना कि जहां पर हमारा कोई भी फॉलो आउट नहीं हुआ है दे लव अस यू नो यू टॉक टू दीज कंपनी दे लव अस लव अस नॉट ओनली फॉर द फूड बट फॉर द वेराइटी दैट वी आर सो कभी हम उनको पंजाबी दे देते हैं कभी हम बोलते हैं सर केरला का भी फूड खा लो कभी बोलते हैं उनको कि आप कर्नाटका का फूड ट्राई करो सो वी गेव देम ऑल द ऑप्शन ऑल दो दे डू नॉट यू नो इतना ज्यादा वो उनको चाहिए नहीं बट उनको अच्छा लगता है whenever we do that. डैशबोर्ड के रूप में कन्वर्ट किया था ऑन द मिलावी डोमेन इट सेल्फ where a user where the coordinator can log in and they can punch on, punch in the order and ek mail humko aayega ek mail unko aayega and the dashboard will be updated with a table wahan par unko date ke hisab se dikh jayega kitna order punch hua hai to usme hamara jo yahan se jo coordinator hota hai from our side he need not call the guy every day okay so we get the order silently wo order chala jata hai uh, uh, kitchen ko so the, wo part thoda manual tha but with desk time hum usko pura automate karne ja rahe hain so next week we are planning to launch that application for the b2b domain itself oh, great got it uh, rupesh can you can you please show this slide of the investment as okay great and if you can just explain the uh, 50 lakh minimum ticket size so yeah. that could be right yeah so the minimum ticket size uh, is uh, 5 lakhs okay and uh, people are welcome if they invest more uh, people uh, who is willing to uh, you know uh, spend more will be given preference because i mean uh, definitely we want to have less people on the cap table but having said that 5 lakh is the minimum uh, uh, what we are looking from a single person great great okay anybody else having any question uh, uh, Rupesh, just a quick comment uh, congratulations first of all it's a very well thought of solution uh, from the taste point of view geo fencing point of view uh, just one suggestion you are talking about east and west and north and south you could consider multilingual support in future because we are not all english uh, savvy and secondly audio support on menus ke bhai buzurg aadmi rahe to usko samajh mein aayega kya hai ha sir sir thoda sa main is pe touch base kar deta hu theek hai to uh, believe me bahut zabardast suggestions mil rahe hain i'm so happy you know people in minutes they are able to come up with all those uh, suggestions hamara jo chef uh, uh, app hai wo multilingual hai बट यूजर्स जो है वो थोड़ा स्मार्ट होता है मतलब वैसा हमने देखा है सो होम सेफ एप इज मल्टी लिंगल एंड इट हैज गॉट बिग फॉन्ट्स एंड एवरीथिंग वेरी कंड्यूसिव टू यू नो सीनियर मतलब 50 साल की महिला के लिए है और मल्टी लिंगल है नाउ वन मंथ बैक वी हैव लॉन्च आवर आई सिस्टम तो मिलावी का आई सिस्टम इज ऑलरेडी इन द प्ले ठीक है पीपल कैन कॉल ए सिंगल नंबर दे कैन सो सीनियर सिटीजन का कैसा है कि अभी हम उनका ऑर्डर है ना फोन पे ही ले लेते हैं और अगर उनका क्यूआर कोड भी नहीं पेमेंट करने आता है तो वी कैन सेंड समवन टू टेक द क्यूआर कोड प्रोवाइडेड दे गो विद अ मंथली प्लान और अ बाय वीकली प्लान ठीक है तो वो सब हम कर रहे हैं और सीनियर सिटीजन के लिए और भी अच्छा कुछ हम मॉडल सोच के लाएंगे सो दैट कि उन बोल के ही वो अपना ऑर्डर प्लेस कर सकते करेक्ट दैट इज गुड बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली नॉट टू स्केलेबल बिकॉज यू आर डूइंग इट मैन्युअली आइडिया और आपका ख्याल अच्छा है सिर्फ आप स्केलेबिलिटी चेक कर लेना उसका हाँ तो उसमें उसमें सर क्या है कि इनको अगर व्हाट्सएप भी चलाने नहीं आएगा तो व्हाट्सएप पे हम उनको क्यूआर कोड नहीं भेज सकते हमारा व्हाट्सएप भी हो चुका है इंटीग्रेशन ठीक है तो कई बार कैसा हो जाता है कि दे के नॉट इवन यू नो वर्क ऑन आई मीन दे डू नॉट नो व्हाट्सएप इज मतलब अगर उनको क्यू कोड भेजा ना तो दे डू नॉट नो की क्यू कोड को स्कैन कैसे करें बिकॉज दे हैव ओनली वन गॉट वन फोन सो दे आस्क मी दैट आई डू नॉट हैव अनदर फोन टू स्कैन दिस so they do not do probably they can save that qr code on their phone and they can upload and they can pay that that 
सो ये सब थोड़ा सा हार्डल आ रहा है बट देन सीनियर सिटीजन का एज अ होल इज नॉट अ वेरी बिग मार्केट इन टू फिफ्टीन परसेंट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट बट येस दैट इज द मार्केट ऑल्सो वी वॉन्ट टू एक्सप्लोर बिकॉज इनका बहुत हेल्प हो रहा है From a problem perspective, I mean, uh, you don't know. We have like currently six uh, senior citizens who are eating daily, and I don't know how many times they bless our customer support. You know, Most, sooner or later they call and they bless. Every time they bless. A QR code का sticker भाई आप बना लो भाई आप Paytm के जैसे. वो करेंगे सर उनके घर पे चिपका देंगे. We can do all those stuff. You know, so as I told you. हाँ, वो सारा चीज कर सकते हैं हम क्यूआर कोड बना के उनके घर पे चिपका सकते हैं मंथली जा सकते हैं आई मीन ऑल दो थिंग्स कैन बी डन ओके ग्रेट डज एनीबडी हैव एनी क्वेश्चन वन मोर शॉर्ट क्वेश्चन या प्लीज मिस आई सॉ दैट यू आर लाइक सेलिंग अराउंड 500 प्लस मील्स पर डे इज दैट करेक्ट यस राइट नाउ एंड यू आर अराउंड 450 प्लस किचंस राइट This eventually means around one meal per kitchen, right? So how we are able to manage like we, we are uh, not, we are only engaging sixty five uh, kitchens currently, and all these uh, rest of the kitchens uh, are kind of so we are working on the demand now. ठीक है तो ये kitchen से हमने जो पैसा हम बता रहे थे कि one thousand that we charge, we do not take that on a single go. We only charge for the two fifty rupees initially, and then we help them to get the fasai. And the rest of the money we only take once they get start getting the order, and usko little by little we deduct on a weekly basis. So unka payment weekly basis pe hota hai. So inko humne standby pe rakha hua hai. We are exploring, you know, on like abhi side me thoda sa unko bhi hum bol rahe hain ki kuch aur jaise achar vachar like we talked about and all. But we are not focusing on that. But currently we are focusing on B two C. So abhi yahan se jo paisa hum raise kar rahe hain. ये इसमें मार्केटिंग और ये सब चीज के लिए स्पेंड होगा सोशल मीडिया प्रेजेंस है वो सारे चीज पे हम काम करेंगे बिकॉज नाउ वी वांट टू स्केल इन अ डिफरेंट लीग ऑल टुगेदर ओके 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 दैट्स ग्रेट सो आफ्टर दिस पिचिंग सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर द कांटेक्ट ऑफ द रुपेश एंड डेक विद ऑल द इन्वेस्टर्स प्लस आई विल बी शेयरिंग द इन्वेस्टर्स डिटेल्स विद द रुपेश सो दे कैन कनेक्ट विद ईच अदर डायरेक्टली If you have got any questions, we are happy to answer. You can connect me or Rupesh directly for the questions. Now, uh, just a minute. Akshay has a question: Which cities do you plan to scale? Yeah. So currently, uh, Akshay, we are looking to uh, uh, scale in uh, city like you know. So uh, as I told you, Pune and Bangalore is so. हो गया है five cities that we want to add. So we have already made a uh, landscape where uh, tier one के हमने uh, चार cities लिए हैं. Tier two के हमने uh, एक city को target किया है. तो Nashik and uh, between Nashik and Nagpur, we are thinking of one city. And then we are adding uh, Kolkata, Hyderabad, uh, um, Gurugram. ओके एंड नोएडा को भी हम वो एक सिटी के जैसा ही देख रहे हैं सो सैटेलाइट सिटी में नियर कैपिटल रीजन में रीजन में हम लोग नोएडा और गुड़गांव को दो दो सिटी को देख रहे हैं सो दैट सम्स अप यू नो अराउंड यू नो टोटल सेवन सिटीज एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी सॉर्टेड ऑन फोर्टीन सिटीज तो इफ यू गाइज हैव गॉट आवर मतलब आई डोंट नो योगेश इफ यू हैव शेयर दैट बंडल लिंक दैट आई सेंट यू so it has a beautiful document called pre read where we have in, you know explained in in a better way uh, our planning and everything you know when it comes to scaling and all i hope got that it, yeah yeah got it i'll definitely share that link with everybody yeah now uh, i would like to appreciate this was fantastic pitch i got to learn so many things from you rupesh and other investors thank you thank you so much okay there are a couple of suggestions or help from my end i can connect you with the people who have got the good network in the colleges so you can you can pitch for the subscription and homely delivery plus uh, i can i can connect you or uh, if you want i can connect you with the a uh, most senior officials from the fasai if you need any help from the legal perspective wow wow i am mean, that would be great yogesh i'll definitely would i, I mean we are looking for any small or big help you that we can get we are a startup you know so uh, i mean we know that with the help of people only we will grow so definitely i mean that's so nice of you so sure, definitely i'll also help you connect with the uh, uh, entrepreneur from the food space more from a manufacturing or tech side plus there are many expert
plus I can connect with the top officials from the APEDA uh, Ministry of Food Processing. I don't know how it is going to help you, but if you see you need this, you can definitely reach out to me. Right. Our vision with the INTA is to help the start startups, founders and the investors to meet their goals. So just and we, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Guys. Sorry to cut down here. So cut you off. So basically just to reiterate when you talk about colleges, no, so I just wanted to uh, tell you our progress on that. So currently we are tied up with uh, 30 colleges. Okay. So when I talk about uh, branding and marketing, so we are not going to spend like, you know, anything on branding or marketing. So that effort is also led by one of the senior guy from Swiggy. So he's working as a consultant with us. So his name is Nikhil He's already handling six crore budget in Swiggy. And also we have divided marketing into two parts, which is organic and inorganic from uh, organic perspective, Nikhil, who is our CMO. So he is very much on the younger, you know, uh, connected with the young <laughs> So we already have rolled up a campus ambassador program with th top 30 colleges in Pune, 14 colleges. We have already tied up and 30 colleges. We have tied up 14 colleges. We have already planned and selected the campus ambassador from the student council. And we are rolling up our, all the activities in next week uh, and 10 days. So very soon on, if you follow our, uh, you know, Insta page, you will see pe these people, you know, making videos, content, and uh, we are working on that, you know, revenue model where for every subscription we are giving, giving, giving away some merchandise, 50 rupees, some rupees and everything. So we are doing that. That's great. With this note, I, I would like to call it for a day. Thank you so much, Rupesh and the team Milave for presenting your startup in front of the investors. I'd like to thank each one of you, the investors who has asked the question, who has listened uh, patiently what Rupesh is building. Uh, that's it from my side. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Yeah.